Hi, Crystal here from Crystico Design. Today I'm going to show you how to change colors when working in the round. I've worked up the crown circle of my hat and my first row that I'm not increasing and now I'm ready to change colors. So to do so, I have slip stitched my last stitch to my first in the round like I normally would, but I cut my yarn and I pulled it through and now I'm going to join my new color with a slip stitch on my hook. And I'm going to make a half double crochet rounds. So I'm gonna go back into my first stitch and you see I'm pulling my tail here because I'm gonna work over that and uh, over that slip stitch loop a little bit. So I am gonna yarn over and insert my hook. So basically, I am going to use these two loops on my hook, my slip stitch and the yarn over I just did, as the beginnings of my first half double crochet. So I yarn over again. You can see how my stitch flipped around. So I gotta... And then yarn over again, and I'm gonna pull through and under, and then through my slip stitch. So essentially, I don't have an extra slip stitch there. It became part of my stitch and it is sitting here at the top of my stitch. So it will be stitch number one for that round. Okay, so I'm gonna do that again. So again, my last stitch, slip stitch to my first stitch of the round. I know the brown is hard to see but hopefully you're familiar with working in the round. Then I'm going to start with a slip stitch on my hook. I'm gonna pull my tail, not this one. Here, let's zoom in just a little bit more and see how that works. Okay, so I've got my slip stitch. I'm gonna go into my first stitch, but first I'm gonna yarn over and I'm kind of holding my loops there on my hook into my first stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop. So now I have what looks like three, but if I let go, that slip stitch is gonna spin around. So I'm gonna hold on to them and then yarn over and pull through all three loops, making a half double crochet. And now my slip stitch becomes my top loop and I don't have a bulky join. So now I am just working half double crochets all the way around normally. And when I get back around to this one, I'm gonna join in the top here. I'm gonna slip stitch to the top of this like I would a normal um, stitch. Okay, so now I'm back around. I have done my half double crochet around and I'm back to my slip stitched half double crochet stitch. And you can see here it moves up a little that, that piece. So what I'm gonna do now is slip stitch my uh, last stitch to my first, like I normally would, and uh, I am going to go under my two loops, and there's a third one right back there, if you can see it. And yarn over and pull through that one and this one. So then I have a nice join, and this is the right side of my work when I work in the round. And as I'm going, I will just um, crochet over this tail and over that little knot there. And that's how you can change colors when working in the round and not have such a bulky join. That's the back there and the front here. Okay, I hope that little tip was helpful.